Amy Poehler and Nick Offerman are back this week for a third season of the NBC show, Making It. Who gets to be a contestant? I went online and saw the application process. Sent in a whole bunch of photos, gave a little backstory. What happened next? They wanted to set up a Zoom interview. How many people get selected? Until I made, uh, you know, the top 20. Can someone in Walport, Oregon make it? I got that final call that says, congratulations, you've made it to the top eight. You're going to Hollywood. Gary Hurd has made it to making it. I love performing. I just thought this was going to be a perfect opportunity for me to showcase what I can do. Gary is a multi-talented crafter and muralist with large pieces hanging in Reedsport and in Newport. In his shop, he's working on an NBC logo that'll go on his float for the Waldport's July 3rd Beachcomber Tour. He's made a hundred videos here for his YouTube channel, The Bearded Woodworker. Over 8,600 subscribers see Gary and his son Alex making an obelisk decoration for Halloween or a Christmas gift Lefsa Turner. A fix he performed on his Whirlpool washing machine had 100,000 views. Now, Gary has gone to Hollywood. Really was excited. I'm used to working with two or three cameras here in my shop, making my YouTube videos. Contestants were given aprons, but Gary is used to rubbing paint-covered hands on work clothes. They actually love to see the aprons come back dirty and w battle, battle wounds, I believe is what she called it. And the beard, what's the story? It's a no-shave November. I started growing the beard and I just kept going. Any worry about beard dangers on the set of making it? I do have some scarves that I can wear that will cover the beard or I can, uh, you know, tuck it into my shirt. There's no TV tricks to it. Once the clock started, you had that amount of time to do your craft. The third season actually finished shooting a while ago. You probably want to know as much as I do. Did you win? <laughs> yeah, I can't answer that. Even us fellow Oregonians don't get a hint about the success of our own crafty, bearded woodworker. Are you a $100,000 Richard? Well, you just have to watch the show and find out. <laughs> In Waldport, Oregon, I'm Stephen Redland, KGW News.